In this video, I go and show you how to set up the MSI Afterburner frame rate counter. As you can see, here it is showing my FPS. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and do consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and do leave a like as well. And do make sure you watch the video right until you enter the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. So let's go and get straight into this video. So the first thing we're going to need to do is simply go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome and then come to a search engine of your choice. The next thing we need to do is go to the MSI Afterburner website. I'll show you the official website and then we need to go and download it. So simply go and search in MSI Afterburner just like so. I'm going to go and double click it just there. And then all you want to do is make sure you come to the official MSI website, which is MSI.com at the moment and go and click on Afterburner. Then it's going to take a minute to load and all you want to do is simply go and click on download afterburner and it's going to go and drop a download either in your downloads folder or depending on what browser you use it's going to go and appear at the bottom. So you want to go and locate that file you may need to go in your file explorer but I'm going to go and drag this onto my desktop just like so and come and close off chrome. So then all you want to do is go and double click on the zip file. I personally have no zip file opener. It's just a default window. So go and double click on it just like so and I have to drag this over and here we go. So then once you've opened your file explorer, all you want to do is come and drag this MSI Afterburner setup out of it, which is an exe file. I'm going to go and drag it onto my desktop just like so. And then it's going to go and export it. And then all I'm going to do is go and double click on it just like so. And then you're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up, which unfortunately my computer does not record. But let's go and follow through with this installer. So I'm going to go and choose English okay and then I'm going to go and click next then make sure you go and read through this and agree to it which I just did so I'm going to go and click I accept and go and click next then you want to go and install both of these which are already take by default as you can see it's only 65 megabytes so and click next again you can go and choose a destination folder and then you just want to go and click install then as you can see it's now going to do it so I'll catch up with you once it's finished and it took a few minutes but then I actually got this reverb tuner set up as well by not clicking anything you just have to be patient so make sure you go and agree to the license agreement and then go and click on next then choose what you want it to be and go and click install once again that did actually take a few minutes, so do be patient and just wait. Personally, I'm going to turn off the show readme and just have to run MSI Afterburner and go and click finish. And then all you want to do is go and open up MSI Afterburner. And then what you want to do is simply come to this left hand side, we've got this list of icons, and you want to go and click on the settings cog just here. So then I'm just going to go and move the properties up here and these are basically all of the settings we can go and choose. So in this top row here, all you want to do is come and click on monitoring just like so. Then all you want to do is simply come down to active hardware monitoring graphs. And then you want to simply go and scroll down and keep scrolling until you can go and see frame rate. As of course you want to go and view our frame rate on our screen. So simply go and keep scrolling down. And then all you want to do is look, it's in alphabetical order. And here is frame rate. So here we go. So you want to go and click on frame rate, make sure it's ticked just like so. And what you want to do is come down to frame rate graph properties and go and click on show in on screen display just like so. Then make sure text is selected in this drop down menu here. If you go and show graph, you don't really want a graph in the top of your game basically. Then all you want to do is go and click on these three dots here and you can go and choose the color of it as well. And then you can go and click apply. And you can also go and put it in your tray icon as well. So it's going to appear in the bottom right. However, there's another setting we need to go and do. So once you've gone and changed this, make sure you go and click on apply just like so and then go and press OK. Then what you want to do is come to the bottom left, just like so. And all you want to do is type in something called Reaver Tuner. As you can see, it's already popped up for me. So go and click on there and you're going to go and get another Windows security pop up. So go and click on yes in there. And when you open it up, nothing may appear. So then what you want to do is come down here and go and click on the hidden icon button. And we're going to go and see all of this. And all you want to do is go and right click on this sort of um, computer display. And it's going to say Reaver Tuner. Right click on it and go and click on show. And then we're going to go and get this pop up here. Then when we are here, we can go and choose where the FPS counter is going to be. So you can move yours to anywhere you'd like, but I'm going to go and keep mine just here. Then I'm going to go and simply go and click off this just like so. Now there's one more setting you want to go and change in the MSI Afterburner. So go and click on settings again, and then I'm just going to move this up here. So what you want to do is then make sure it goes and starts with Windows, as then basically as soon as you go and launch it, it's going to go and be ready to be used and go and count your FPS and then go and click start minimize as well, and then go and click apply as well. Then go and press OK. And then once you've minimized it, it's going to go and be running in the background and ready for you to go and open up a game to go and count your FPS. And here we are in Minecraft, and as you can see in the top left, it goes and shows us our FPS and what we're currently achieving. So this is going to be really useful, guys, and it's going to work in most games as well. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.